Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back to Canon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. Yes. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm actually off on half term. And uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's what a start to the week. Yeah, I know literally it was yesterday that started the week, but I was out in Windsor driving the missus and a friend from Colombia and a friend went back to Colombia, but um, half term means I'm going to do a series of morning shows. You're probably thinking, why is he like, uh, I'm trying something different. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. A faded background and me in the foreground and yeah, me looking over here to the screen on my laptop and looking over here. But anyway, we've got some news in regards to Matteo Guendouzi, the troublemaker. Yeah, just give me his thoughts about his time. Didn't he not say about his time before? And his relationship between himself and Miko Arteta. I'm sure he did, didn't he? Um, we've got some news also about uh, Sammy Lukonga. Something about a swap deal going to be happening, or maybe. Or maybe it's just speculation. And we've got a whole lot of other news as well. But we're going to get into this one <laughs> on the other side of this music intro. Yes, indeed. Welcome back again to Canon Fodder TV, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. So I've got my camera over here, I've got my screen over here. So do excuse me if I'm doing this a lot. I just want to try something different. Yeah, at some stage, I'm going to try something else. Gives you the impression I'm in the studio. Uh, am I in the studio? I might be in the studio. I'm not sure. But anyhow, uh, make sure that you do subscribe to Canon 40 TV. It says it's somewhere down here. It says it down here, up here, up here, down here. Subscribe to Canon 40 TV. Um, hit the bell notification button so you can receive almost, almost all the latest and breaking news. Let me know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? If not, we've got some problems in Houston. Uh, right. Um, we're also going to be checking into the poll that I did yesterday. I did it yesterday. An interesting poll, actually. Um, kind of generated from... Mikko Arteta's comments about the players and the amount of games that he expects them to play, at least. And actually, for the bump, we've got some breaking news, actually, which broke yesterday. So why am I talking about today? Yesterday, I was busy, man. I was busy. So shall we get into it? I think we better get into it. So the first news off the top of the show is this just gentleman over here, troublemaker, yeah, in the, in the centre, the centre, your yeah, Matea Guinduzzi. Speaks out on Mikko Arteta's relationship amid ugly Arsenal exit. Now, did he not speak about that before? I don't know, maybe I'm kind of late down on this one. But much has been made of the third relationship between the 20, now 23 years of age ex-Arsenal player and Mikko Arteta since the Gunner uh, ex, uh, exit exiled. Now the Frenchman has officially spoken out uh, about how the two got on, or they didn't get on, in the interview with uh, BN Sport as relayed by uh, Go France. At the weekend, he touched upon his uh, Ghana's exit and clarified the situation surrounding the Morpay uh, incident in the process. Remember, I'm going to look at the photo here. You remember that? He said, um, journalists use this excuse to say that we had a bad relationship and that's why I stopped playing and left Arsenal. Not at all. It's a gesture like many on the pitch. That's a lot of tension sometimes, a lot of problems on the pitch. In any case, it has nothing to do with that. Uh, as for now, uh, he got on with uh, Arteta, Guendouzi admitted. It's true that I didn't have the best relationship with him. Beyond that, I always tried to work, always gave the maximum of myself in training and matches. I still play a few matches uh, with him uh, uh, and I still uh, still a great uh, performances. He preferred the other players and I respect that decision. That's why afterwards I decided to leave because I was still young I needed playing time to continue to progress. The most important when you are young is to play. Yeah. So, um, again, I think it's just highlighting what we already knew. Literally, it didn't have the best of relationships and actually didn't even have the worst of relationships, you know. But like I've always said, and probably you will probably echo my thoughts, young players, they just want to play. That's what they want to do. I'm just thinking, how would he have figured? How do you think he would have done if he was playing in this current um, squad? Been an interesting one. 
I don't know. What do you think? Come in the live chat. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, yeah, Matteo Guendouzi just kind of lifting the lid on the relationship between himself and Nico Arteta. Uh, yeah, I think you know what. Let's go on. <laughs> Let's go on to, to, on to the next one. So let me remove this youngster from the, the picture, front and center. All right. Uh, okay, what else? What else do we have here to tell you about? Oh, yes. Albert Sambi Lokonga. Where is he? Where is he? Uh, there he is. Uh, yeah. Well, I, again, I'm not sure if this is actually true. This report says Arsenal willing to offer Samuel Conga as a part of £70 million plus uh, Milinovic Savic uh, transfer. Uh, according to reports from Italy, Arsenal are considering making a mega money uh, offer for Lazio Sergei Milinovic Savic. Arsenal are looking to add a world class midfielder to the Brains. And uh, uh, Casimino Cato is reporting how the Gunners are looking into proposing a huge deal for the Serbian. It's reported how the North London outfit could go in with a cash bid of around £60 million. On top of that, uh, throwing Samba Lokonga as well, who they value of around £20 million. Lokonga only arrived at Arsenal in the summer of 2021 as the Gunners paid around £18 million for him. However, he has failed to really kick on so far as he's been vocal in the past week about prospects of seeking a move a away from Arsenal at some point. A move from Milovic Savic then could well open the door for both Arsenal and Lokonga to come to an agreement. Dubbed as an associate gifted young midfielder by another platform, reports in recent weeks <coughs> have claimed that Liverpool are also keen on signing the Lazio ace. Jurgen Klopp is known to be keen on signing a new midfielder with the likes of Jude Benham said to be high on the Reds manager's list. Now, Samuel Lakonga, I would not want Arsenal to let him go. And it's something about being nostalgic or, again, it's nothing to do with liking the player. All I'm going to say is, is that you're trying to build something at Arsenal. You brought Samuel Lakonga, And what it is, again, is, is this me being, I don't know, it's just, it's just me being me. No matter what Granit Xhaka does, and I've got to say this with my hand on my heart. Actually, let me just take it off so you can see I've got my hand on my heart. See, I've got my hand on my heart. I've got my hand on my heart. No matter what Granit Xhaka does, and actually no matter what any of the other midfielders do, Granit Xhaka is always going to be the number one, the number one in Mick Arteta's ranks. Samuel Lekonga could be and should be the, the natural replacement for a Granite Shaka. But we'd far rather, as the report says, we'd far rather let Samuel Lekonga go, if it is true. Samuel Lekonga has actually said that, you know, what he's fed up about not having, you know, much playtime, much playtime, make him sound like he's in, in school. Playtime, game time. But I'm just thinking, no matter what happens, Mick Arteta would far rather have a Granite Shaka as a number one midfielder Maybe paired with um, uh, Thomas Party and Lokonga somewhere down the pecking order. Samuel Lokonga was brought to be a replacement for a Granite Shaka. So why are we talking about wanting to loan him out or selling him as a loan as a loan deal, as a as a as a part cash and part player deal? Minovic Savage. We, he should not be in a discussion. He should be, be placed in a position where we can say, right. After a certain time, we know Granit Xhaka is not going to stay at Arsenal. Okay? Someone should be talking to Samuel Lekonga and say, you know what? Just bear with us. Stay with us. We put our faith in you. We bought you for £18 million. You know? And you're going to be the natural replacement in the future when Granit Xhaka departs or when he retires. That's how we should be viewing Samuel Lekonga. All the stuff about selling him. We signed him in the summer of 2021, like the report says there. I don't, know, I don't know what's going on. Actually, I do know what's going on. But Samuel Lekonga, I, I actually, you know, Nuno Tavares, I didn't want him to be loaned out. We loaned him out. And it seems like, I don't know, it's weird, isn't it? Like doing U-turns on Tavares. And now it appears that Arsenal are doing a U-turn on Samuel Lekonga. Weird. Absolutely strange. I just, I don't get it. Don't get it. Now, um... The breaking news I spoke about. It was the breaking news. That's not breaking news anymore now, is it? 
It's not breaking news anymore. It's, it's about this gentleman here. This gentleman here. Do you recognize him? Yes. Unai Emre. Unai Emre. If you don't know my thoughts about him, then you never will. You never will. In my eyes, he should still be Arsenal manager. But anyway, uh, Una Emery, Aston Villa have appointed Villarreal manager as head coach. Yes, the former Arsenal boss, Una Emery, uh, who had been in charge of the Spanish club, Villarreal, uh, will take over Villa on the 1st of November. Uh, Villa have paid £6 million, uh, Euros, um, which is roughly £5.2 million pounds buyout fee for Villarreal. Uh, caretaker Aaron Danks uh, will all uh, again take charge at Newcastle this weekend after Gerard was dismissed last weekend following a 3-0 defeat by the hands of my second favourite club, Fulham. Yay! Emery, uh, who would have been uh, out of contract anyway at Villarreal next summer, will begin to work next week after his work permit uh, form formalities are completed, uh, Villa said. The club added Aston Villa is delighted to announce the appointment of Una Emery as the club's new head coach. A delighted, experienced top coach who has managed over 900 games. Em Una Emery has also previously managed in the Premier League. She was for Arsenal, leading the Gunners to a Europa League final. Uh, he has also enjoyed notable successes at Sevilla and Paris Saint-Germain. In Sevilla, he won three consecutive Europa League. Let, let, let me repeat that. With Sevilla, he won three consecutive Europa League ties between 2013 and 2013 and 2016, before going to lift the League One Championship in France, as well as uh, two French uh, Cups, uh, two French League Cups and two trophies, the champions. Um, listen, there's a lot more it said in this report here, but I'm going to be talking about this with my good friend James Rowe come Thursday. Remember, Thursday evenings is a lead on to our Europa League games. And boy, yeah, I never, I never saw that one coming. Una Emery, I know Newcastle tried to get him and actually turned it down. So, yeah, I'll leave my comments for the Thursday evening, early evening show with uh, James Rowe and myself. So these are those who have been the news segments currently running on Canon Foy TV on this Tuesday lunchtime show. And I'm cream, I'm knackered. I'm tired. Yeah, driving to Windsor Castle yesterday. On that A was it A4, A A40, then the M4. Anyhow. Come into the live chat. Let me know your thoughts. You're probably thinking, why is that it's on, a, on an angle? Let me try something different. Try something different. I remember on a, on a previous uh, app I was using, I had two cameras. So you got two different views, side view and front view. This kind of gave the impression I was in the studio. I think I might do that again. So I'm just trying something different. Trying something different. That's what I'm doing. All right. Okay. Um, let me look on our Twitter feed and see if there's been any comments there thus far. Maybe there is. Maybe there ain't. You never know. Uh, let's have a look. No. Okay. It's just uh, a couple of our followers have retweeted the fact that we are live. We're live. We're live. Okay. And now I believe I can go into the poll. Now, the poll question. Last week, Mikko Arteta said that top players play 70-plus games a season. Or they've got to be prepared to play 70-plus play games a season. I was thinking, well, you can do that. You can say that when you've got, you know, strength and depth in the squad numbers. Arsenal don't have that. We don't have that. So, anyway... Look, let's look at the question, all right? So the question again is, should we expect players to play 70-plus games a season? Choose only one. Well, i tell you what, 453 votes, six comments. I've, re I've responded to all those comments there. Six likes. We've got to get a lot more likes, please. We're 50, no, we're 44 short of the likes, please. Aim for 50. And so these are how the numbers are falling so far. Again, the question is, should we expect players to play 70-plus games a season? 45% of the subscribers say yes. And actually, I remember seeing the comments actually before I drove off uh, to Heathrow Airport this morning. Uh, actually, can I see it here? Uh, I probably can see it here. I thought, what are you talking about? Well, actually, it's, it's, it's their comment. It's their opinion. Have I got it here? All right. He said, um, <laughs> uh, for those wages, yeah. 
heartless, heartless bunch. That's that's unfair. That's so unfair. Give me that money. Anyhow. So, and then 55% of you say, uh, actually, no, we should not expect players to be playing 70 plus games a season. Burnout, fatigue, tiredness. Yeah. Anyhow, so you can you can go in there and have your vote. Now let's go into the live chat and see who has joined us on this Tuesday lunchtime show where Alex is absolutely cream crackers. I'm tired. I'm tired. All right, let's go into the chat for the first time and see who's here. We've got English Conversation Club who says hello and hello to you as well, sir. Hope you're keeping well. And Carl, our resident Liverpool supporter. Just saying. It says, hi, how are you? I'm fine, Carl. How are you doing, my friends? Uh, did I say, uh, I hear you, did I hear you say Liverpool? You have now. <laughs> you have now. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> Who's this? Galaxico, 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 Galaxico. Hi, bro. Uh, thanks for the updates. You're welcome. I hope you're keeping well. Say hello to your family from us. Uh, we will swap uh, Sammy for Ox. We'll keep uh, Sammy Lakonga. You can keep the Ox. <laughs> uh, bargain hunt for, for you. Tough call. Not really. Not a tough call. No, no. Sammy Lakonga, the Ox. Is he out injured again? Or has he just fallen so far down the peck of an order? What's happened to the ox? <sighs> Dearie me. Terrible. Terrible. Um, right. So whilst the live chat is thinking about warming up or not to warm up, let me give you guys a quick uh, heads up or heads down what's going to be going on for the next few days. So tomorrow I will be doing some more uh, morning shows uh, over here. And um, in the evening, I will be doing an even show. And then Thursday, I'll be doing an even show with James Rowe. And then what else am I going to be doing? <laughs> On Friday, it's going to be the easy talk. Actually, I haven't spoken to anyone. Uh, and then on Saturday, I'm not doing any content. On Sunday will be the big Sunday show. With uh, Paul, I think these guys are dealing with wonderful stuff. Actually, on, I remember, forgot to say, on Thursday evening, there will also be a follow-up show with um, Ange, the first aid of California TV, and Richard. And um, I think that's it. Yeah. Is that it? That's it. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so run through his last few more comments, and then we are going to be uh, finished for this one. Uh, he's always injured. I think we sold him to you for 35 Million pounds? 33 million pounds? Whatever it was, you can keep him. You can keep the ox. Do you know what? I've got the impression that he's got something else in his mind as well. Anyhow. Uh, you had a ghost in the background uh, wearing a green top. <laughs> yeah. I wonder who that was. <clears throat> anyhow. Anyhow. Uh, I, I, I believe we have come to an end. I was actually using the wrong one here. Uh, have we come to an end? I believe we, oops, we have come to an end. We have come to an end on this Tuesday lunchtime show. Expect to see a lot more. That's all I'm saying. You and I, Emery, making his way back to the Premier League. I get the impression he's got, I get the impression that he has unfinished business. And um, yeah, we're going to be talking about this one. Una Emery, that is, on the Thursday evening show. Anyhow, we're done. We're finished. Uh, anyway, this, 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 the cannon fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world.